Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be culturing some springtails which I believe to be some of the best food for small surface dwelling fish like hatchet fish. So first we're going to set up a couple cultures then we're going to feed these guys to some hatchet fish and see if they like them. Alright so here's the containers we're going to be using which is just some food grade containers that I stole out of the cabinet. You want to make sure that the lids are going to snap on there airtight which these do. So that's what we're starting with. Next we got to add some charcoal. So I'm going to be using this 100% all natural hardwood lump charcoal, which is what you want. You don't want briquettes because oftentimes there's chemicals, but we can see by the packaging here that there are, maybe way down here, no chemicals added, which is perfect. This whole bag was $7.99, so a great value. So generally these are pretty big chunks, we'll have to break down. All right, as you can see, we got our two containers of charcoal now. Next step is to add water. Most people will use distilled water or RO water. I actually use water from my dehumidifier, which I have the uh, bucket for the dehumidifier right here. It is full. I'm just gonna pour it in this cup here and then put it in there. Kind of fill it up to about a half inch of water. Maybe a little more. All right, that should be good. Do the same to this one. All right, that should work. Now we just got to transfer some springtails over here. And to do that, we're just going to fill this up with a little bit of water. You can see all of the springtails are rising to the surface. They do float, which is why they are perfect for hatchet fish and other nano fish that feed from the surface. Now we just pour it in. Do the same to this one over here. And that's it. Our original culture still has tens of thousands of springtails in it. And now our new cultures are ready to go. One last thing, we gotta add some food for them. So for food, all I've been using is this Tetra Color Tropical Granules and crushing them up and putting them in there. It's probably better to use nutritional yeast flakes and I'll probably switch over to that now that I'm doing this on a larger scale. It's not very expensive and a lot better nutritional value, but the tropical granules have been working fine for me for the last few months. All right, so once again, I'm gonna take my culture here and just pour it in. You can see all of them up there. The hatchet fish are already coming, look at that. So as you can see, the hatchet fish go nuts over springtails. This is an excellent food source for them. And like I said, any other surface eating nano fish that you might have, I would definitely consider doing this. It's super easy to do, very low care, low maintenance. And I mean, the proof's right there, you can see them. But I want to thank everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you all next time.